Okay, welcome to Tinker's Lab. And in this tutorial with Inkscape, I'm going to show you how to create a PDF document with embedded web links so that they're clickable in your PDF document. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up K, uh, KDN Live, Inkscape. Let's bring up Inkscape. And let's open up our file we're going to use for this tutorial. And there we go. And we'll zoom in here a bit so that we can see the header that I'm going to create. That's good. All right. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it out of the way for now. And I've created a little cheat sheet here so I'm not spending all my time typing but I'll show you how to create these. So first we're going to we're going to use the text that we want to have to represent our link. I mean you you could have it as just the URL if you want to have it as just the URL. Um, I prefer to just have, you know, a heading, a title type thing that's going to, you know, point to the URL that I want it to point to. So I'm going to copy that text and we're going to come over here to Inkscape. Now we're going to go to our text tool here and then I am going to use free serif and I'm going to make it italic and I'm going to make it 11 point and I'm going to make it blue kind of a medium blue oh I didn't want to I didn't want to change that text let me back back out of that I had it selected so uh, let me unselect that go back to my text tool say how that worked that didn't work very well okay so I've got my text tool select I don't have anything selected <laughs> make sure you don't have anything else selected all right I'm gonna put my cursor here and then I'm going to paste that text and so I'm making it italic and I'm making it blue so it will be apparent that it is going to it's a web link you know a clickable link that's typically what you see in web pages it'll be italic and it'll be blue or Maybe it'll be normal or bold, but it will be a blue color. So the italic, I think, will help clue people in that it's an actual clickable link. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and right-click that. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to say Create Anchor Hyperlink. All right, so I'm going to put in my H reference. Your H reference is the address that you want it to point to. So I'm going to go back to my cheat sheet here and I'm gonna grab my URL that I want it to point to okay and I'm gonna paste that into my H reference block here now I'm only going to be filling in two of these and the second one that I'm gonna fill in is gonna be target and according to the HTML5 specification in order for the link to open up a new tab in the browser instead of an existing tab or a new browser we're going to put in underscore and we're going to put in blank and that way it should open up this link when they click it in a new tab in their existing browser I think that will work just fine okay so we've got that link created now let's move this up a little bit out of the way and then we're going to create our second link and there's going to be about five of these but uh, you know the end result is going to be nice so bear with me all right so the text that's going to represent our next link all right I'm going to paste it and it kept the uh, it kept my settings for my font my uh, my mode or you know you know the italic uh, setting and my 11 points so that worked out well and I'm going to click my arrow here and then I'm going to right click the, the block that we just selected and then I'm going to go back to create anchor again and go back up to H reference and I'm going to bring my cheat sheet back up again and I'm going to copy that URL I think you guys are seeing the pattern here aren't you okay and then we want it to open up in a tab so underscore blank again okay and we'll click off of that now and then go back to our text so there's going to be four or five of these links we're going to create now the reason this is really cool is because you know, we're going to create the PDF document and these links are going to be embedded in the PDF document so any type of desktop publishing that you want to do let me 
grab my next test text block here. Any kind of um, desktop publishing you want to do, whether you want to distribute it as a downloadable document, if you want to um, distribute it via email, um, from your Google Drive, whatever, but if you want to provide a way, an easy and convenient way for people to be able to access um, web links without having to type them in, you know, because that can be uh, kind of tedious, without having to type them in, this is a fantastic way of doing it. And creating these text blocks, these text objects individually for each one of these links is the best way that I have found for doing this guys because if you don't it you know if I if you try and create it all in one text block then you're going to end up with a single link you know it needs an it needs an individual um, object for each one of the links so if you try to put all this in one text block what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with several links you thought you had made that are actually going to be um, a single link. A bunch of text with a single link. Uh, ask me how I know that. All right, so we'll go on to the H reference again. And after this one, we just got one more to go. And then we will tidy this up a bit and export it to a PDF document. And then we will test out our beautiful links that we just created. All right, we're ready for the last link now, huh? I bet you guys are going, yay, the last one. Thank goodness. That's the one I've been looking for the whole time, the last one. Okay, text link. Paste what we want it to say. Grab it as an object, right-click it. Select Create Anchor. Go back to my cheat sheet for my last URL. Copy. Paste, underscore, blank for the new tab. And you can, put in, you can put in the rest of this information if you want to. This is all I really need, just the URL that it's going to point to and open up in a new tab. That's all I'm really concerned about. Okay, so now what I want to do is I, I think it looks best if these are all left aligned. So what we're going to do is go to our line tool here and we're going to have last selected and then we're going to select this, you know, where it shows the vertical bar on the left hand edge so that everything is left aligned. So we're going to click that. And so now everything is left aligned. So the last thing that I want to do here before I group them, because I'm going to group them, is I want to make sure that the vertical spaces between each line are the same, right? So I'm going to go over here and where it shows this little icon where it shows spaces, the spaces in between each object. And if you hover over it, it'll show you even vertical gaps. So the, distribute the vertical gaps between these objects um, equally. So I'm going to click that and then like magic, everything is distributed equally spaced, everything is left aligned. Okay, now I'm going to select Control G, and what that's going to do, it's going to take all these objects, it's going to group them as a single object. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to go up here to my title. I'm going to hold down my Shift key while this is selected. I'm going to select my header title up here. And then I want to go over here and select relative to the last object, which was the header that I selected at the top. And then I want to center it with that object. So I'm going to click that, and now that object is centered with those above it. Now I'm going to grab what I had originally moved so it wasn't in the way. I'm going to put that about right there. I think it looks good. I'm going to go up. I'm going to click my header again, and I'm going to vertically center that now. Okay, so now we have created a document in Inkscape that I think looks really, really good. And we're going to export this now to a PDF document, and then we're going to test all of our web links and make sure that they work properly. So all we have to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this. Don't forget to save your work. So I'm going to save it right here. Save my, my vector graphics file, my uh, Inkscape file. 
and then I'm going to go here to file. I'm going to say save as, save a copy, save a copy, and then down here where you where you see your drop down list of all the different file types that you can save it as, select portable document format PDF. You can see it automatically changed uh, my file extension to PDF. Now I'm going to put a number on this so I don't overwrite my original tutorial file in case I have to do this over again. You know, that's happened before. So I'm just going to put an underscore on the end of it. And I'm going to save it. PDF 1.5. I have a resolution for your rasterization, your DPI dots per inch. I set mine at 300 so that my, my, little, my image of this plane right here doesn't get all pixelized. So that, that keeps the resolution nice and tight on any embedded images that you may have in your document. So, so that's the way I set that in PDF version 1.5. I'm going to select OK. It should have saved it. So now we're going to go into our um, document folder where we just created this. And you can see there's the PDF document with the underscore. So let's double click that and bring up our PDF document. I don't need my thumbnail over here. That's that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to minimize all this other stuff. I'm going to bring my browser up with my PDF document so that we can click on these web links so that you could see that it's going to load these up. Each one's going to load up in a different tab. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, Tinker's Lab on YouTube. So let's click that one. There's Tinker's Lab's YouTube page. That works great. Okay, now let's test Tinker's Lab on Amazon. There's the Amazon uh, store for Tinker's Lab. All right, so let's bring up the next one, Ground Control RC on YouTube. And there's the Ground Control RC YouTube channel. As you can see, it's loading each one in a different tab, which is what we want. Ground Control RC on Patreon. There's Ground Control RC on Patreon. Okay, and then the last one is, I don't want to sign in, Ground Control RC on Facebook. Okay, so it brings up the Ground Control RC Facebook page with that. I don't want to sign into it, but I just wanted to demonstrate that it brings up everything in a new tab. All of our tabs worked. We've got one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five tabs that we opened up. Works perfectly, guys. So that is a way that you can create clickable links, web links, in a PDF document created with Inkscape. It was pretty easy. It was pretty straightforward. Just remember the underscore blank in the target field so that it opens everything up in a new tab. And that's it. And your H reference, of course, for your, for your web link one. Your H reference and your target and that's the only the only information that I had to enter into it okay so that's a wrap on this episode thank you guys for watching I hope that gave you some information you can use and I will see you in the next episode